What we need is a really good storm to help clean out this smoke that we have over all of East Idaho. And of course, a good portion of the western U.S. could probably use a serious storm right now in the way of rain at least. But nothing like that, at least not in the immediate future. Air quality alert continues for most of Idaho, including the Panhandle and a good chunk of eastern Idaho. The ones that are not included have moderate air quality. So Blackfoot, Pocatello, we're a bit luckier as far as our air quality is concerned. Our neighbors to the north, different story, unhealthy for sensitive groups for the upper Snake River Plain up in Dylan Park, and then unhealthy for everyone up in Salmon, where it's even worse. And really not going to see this let up all that much for at least for the next couple of days or so. Smoke tracker, you can see where the fires are burning in Idaho. So not only are we getting smoke from neighboring states, but we're creating our own. One of the biggest fires around still burning over southwestern Kazia County. Up to about 40,000 acres, they call it the Badger Fire, which is not too far from uh, Magic Mountain Ski Resort. You can see it on the map just to the southwest of Burley. And then we have that fire, the Blackfoot Mountain Fire continues to burn. The wider green, if you will, the lighter green indicates the thicker smoke. And this will continue into tomorrow. If you want a little less smoke, maybe the farther south you go, the better the air quality will get, actually. Yeah, believe it or not, even the Wasatch Front down in northern Utah will have slightly better, better air quality than most of us. More smoke for the Snake River playing tonight. Low temperatures back down in the 30s in Idle Falls. We'll be in the mid-50s in Pocatello. And we'll be in the mid-40s in Chalice. Salmon, you're low at 39 degrees. Freezing cold over in Stanley at 31. Much warmer than that, though, in Arco and in Mackey. Low temperatures there will be about 47 degrees. Upper Highland, western Wyoming. Freezing up in Island Park. Last night, we are in the upper 20s, so doing a little better than last night. Freezing in Yellowstone, but I think we'll certainly stay above freezing over in Jackson and in Afton with a low of 38 degrees. Dubois, Clark County, not too shabby. Downey will have a low temperature of 42. Malad City around 47. 39 for low in Montpelier. At least we're staying above freezing. And well, we got more smoke in the sky as well. I think the farther south, maybe down around Malad City, Preston, probably not quite as smoky as the rest of us, but still very warm. Malad City topping out at 90. We got 81 in Jackson, warm in Island Park, Driggs at 82 degrees. Uh, for the Central Mountains, smoke is actually thick enough to keep it cooler than it would be otherwise, especially in Salmon with a high of only 80. A little warmer in Chalice at 84, and certainly a lot warmer in the Snake River Plain. Pocatello will spend another day in the lower 90s. Idaho Falls around 87. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast. Looking ahead, another hot and smoky one for your Thursday. Friday, chance of showers and thunderstorms with a bunch of wind, and a lot cooler for your Saturday as we go into the last weekend of summer. It'll feel more like fall, first weekend of fall as we go into it. And then speaking of fall, fall officially arrives on the calendar next Tuesday, high of 80. Idle fall seven day forecast, very warm for the next couple of days. And we start a cooling trend on Friday. We got a lot of wind that'll take us into Saturday. We could see showers and thunderstorms Friday into Saturday, maybe some precipitation. Rainfall would be nice Sunday drier. And then we start warming up in those 70s. as We start the new season for the Teton area. We got just a partly sunny end of the work week, maybe a little less smoke, and look at that cool hive, only 58 on Saturday with a threat of showers and thunderstorms. For the Central Mountains, highs will stay in the 80s for the next three days, but we could see some stormy weather Friday, Saturday,